All right, Ali, thanks for joining us. Not a problem, good no to worry. be here. No, oh, it's lovely to be here. Eh? Um, are you any good at pool? Oh, uh, look, not really, but well, I've only oh, played a couple of times. Ever? Oh. How old are you? I'm 20. Oh. <laughs> yeah, something like that. No, 22, but don't have a pool table or anything like that. You'd yeah, probably no. muck around a fair bit when we were younger at friends' places. Yeah. All right, never, well, ever. would you like to break or would you want me to? Oh, you can take the honours. I'll let you get a head start. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, very nice. <laughs> Pretty happy to be playing women's footy. You happy it's all come in? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, obviously, you know, it's taken off more than probably what we all expected. Yeah. Um, so, which is grouse. I think being at the Bulldogs, we've been pretty lucky, um, you know, coming in when the guys have been really good and yeah. really strong and, you know, coming off the back of their premiership was really positive yeah. for us. Um, but I think the whole competition itself is, has just taken off and, like, you know, we get to showcase something that we've loved doing for a long time now. It's only going to get better, I guess, too. I, I must admit, I didn't watch any because I was stuck in the jungle. So, <laughs> so um, I would have loved to have been there, but unfortunately, I was in South Africa. Did you I'll, watch any highlights of it? I did. Um, we got some highlights in the jungle, actually, because oh, really? Steve Price was, was bagging the women's foot. I didn't bag it. He said he didn't think it would take off. And then um, when Sandra Sully came in with some news, um, the first game was like a sellout. Something like that to, yeah, throw, out, have to lock people, throw people away or something like that. So Pretty much. Probably better than what I thought you were going to be, to be honest. But um, no good on you. Gone for the other one. Tell you what, I hope you're better at football than you are at Paul, <laughs> judging you on your first shot. Love, because... Oh, here we go. Yeah, good start. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so now about you. So you work, you work at Audi, do you? Yep. Yeah. So, you, nice little... You good at selling cars? Nah, the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've never stepped in an Audi. What, what goes on inside? I've heard good things, but... Chaos. Is it? Really. Well, this weekend we've got our ski sale. What do you mean you sell skis in there? Well, not skis, but the stuff you take to the snow. More your jackets and, and pants and all that. Is that right? <laughs> you enjoying it? Yeah, it's been good. It's, um... They've been really good with, with footy and, yeah. and all that kind of stuff, so. Do you think there'll be time where women football will be, um, be full time, so you don't have to work? Or you may just really love Aldi and don't want to work there forever. <laughs> but. Hopefully one day we can, you know, make a career out of it. Yeah. Um, probably not in the next couple of years, but, yeah. you know, five to 10 years. So hopefully yeah. I'm still running around. So how do you go with, um, I guess, do you find it hard? having a full-time job and then going to training at night and training yeah. for women's football. You'd yeah, be knackered, was, wouldn't you? It was pretty tough, um, you know, doing kind of both commitments. Um, but, yeah, like I said, work and, and footy were, were pretty good towards each other and, um, you know, I was able to manage my time a little bit. Obviously, I'd love to be full-time footy. Yeah. And then that way I don't have to worry about serving the lovely customers at Aldi. But, you know, it's something that we'll have to wait and see for. There you go. Good shot. I'll just get my eye in now. Have to ask you a question though. Yeah, go for it. What's inspired the new hair colour? New hair colour? Um, it's a very good question. I was going to Coachella at, and people dress up and, you know, and I'm not a great dresser upper um, so <laughs> my hairdresser Timmy down at Mad Hairdressing and give him a plug he said maybe I should go no what could, whatever it's not bleach blonde but it's like it's somewhere in between so I was like fuck it um, I'm going away uh, I'll, I'll give it a run what are you what are you you're not happy with it no no I don't mind it I was just wondering what, what uh, inspired it no no Bieber yeah, I actually read that somewhere. Um, no, actually, I don't know what inspired it. Nothing. I was literally going in just for a normal haircut. And, and then the hairdressers pulled the strings on you? Yeah. So I went whatever colour you would call this, and my missus went pink, and we went to Coachella. It's the beauty of not playing footy now. It is. It is the beauty of not playing footy. I would like to be working at Aldi, but <laughs> unfortunately, I went for a job there, and... Um, they didn't hire me, so didn't hire you. I was like, oh, fuck, I'm not good enough to work out here. I'm going to go travel for six <laughs> months. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Should have let me know. I could have um, put a referral in for you and everything like that. Well, 
I didn't know. I didn't know you then. <laughs>